This is the all new 2013 Toyota RAV4 and Toyota has brought us here to southwestern Ontario so we could go to their Woodstock assembly plant where the Toyota RAV4 is made for all of North America. And the engineers at that factory told us in the development stage of this product, they actually had input because this is such an important vehicle for North America and especially Canada. So what were the objectives for this new product? To make it more dynamic to look at and more dynamic to drive. Big changes include a six-speed automatic transmission, and we even had a chance to drive it on the test track at the factory. It's a huge vehicle for us in the sense that it's number two in sales in Canada for us, but also with the RAV4 plant in Woodstock, it uh, was a real commitment on our part to make sure that this, uh, this vehicle is a success. There are a number of things that we've done with this generation of RAV. Um, it, as, as you'll notice, the, that whole compact SUV segment is moving a little smaller, moving to four-cylinder engines, and a very large percentage of it's uh, selling into the front-wheel drive marketplace. Uh, the, and so we've taken the RAV, we've redesigned it entirely inside and out. As you can tell, the, one of the trademark features of the RAV, the rear-mounted uh, uh, spare tire and swing gate are gone in favor of uh, lift gate. It's much more planted stance, uh, six-speed transmission, the active torque control, all of these things give you a much more driver-centered vehicle, but at the same time, we're also adding more features to, uh, to the vehicle, which, uh, which makes it an excellent value for people, and always, of course, coming with uh, Toyota QDR, and you folks have had the opportunity to have a quick look at how these vehicles are put together by our manufacturing plant in Woodstock. Um, there's such a passion for quality amongst those team members. Starting at $23,790 for a front-wheel drive base model, the price has been dropped by over $1,000. The base all-wheel drive model now starts at $25,990, over $1,500 less than the older RAV4. Superior design, upscale interior, uh, all sorts of new technologies like rear cross-traffic alert, uh, lane keep assist, uh, blind spot monitoring, uh, text-to-speech audio, uh, you name it. It's got absolutely every feature that you could imagine, and then some, plus the build, plus the style. It's, uh, we think, the complete package. Now before we get going on the drive portion here, I just want to point out a few things. First of all, I find the driving position very comfortable. The armrests are at the right place and the outward visibility is excellent. Top of the dash is still covered in hard plastic, which isn't uncommon in this class of vehicle. They have this one panel that goes underneath the radio and the heat and it's covered with soft touch materials. And in this limited edition, it has the faux leather with the French stitching. Now, in addition, there are three radios to choose from in this vehicle. The base is just a radio. The middle trim level gets you the bigger screen. And on this model, you get the JBL sound system with navigation as an option. The screen is not a bad size. The graphics really are not as sophisticated as others in this class. And there's bad glare off this, depending on which direction you're going in the sunshine. All right, let's get moving out here in the new RAV4. Now, they didn't throw the baby out with the bathwater. They did the same approach that Honda has with the CRV. They carried over the motor when they updated their vehicle last year, and Toyota has as well. It's the same 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, 176 horsepower, and 172 foot pounds of torque. So it's not too bad. The biggest change, though, is the inclusion now of a six speed automatic transmission. And when you add more gears, it gives you more efficiency. And this vehicle is now quicker to 100 kilometers an hour than the old model. Gone is the V6. That vehicle, the V6 with all wheel drive and the previous RAV4 was really a bit of a rocket. In addition, I mentioned the different modes. The de facto setting is 100% of the torque to the front wheels and zero to the back. Now the system will automatically send 50% of the torque to the rear wheels when it senses slippage. And you also have a switch here where you can lock it at 50 front to back if you're in really bad weather conditions. Toyota has dropped the optional V6 engine found in the previous model as most people purchase the older RAV4 with the four-cylinder anyway. The RAV4 is a pleasure to use in the city and passes well on the highway. Plus, improvements to sound insulation also make the ride more enjoyable. The RAV4 is finally catching up to much of the competition, but Toyota might want to consider direct injection and even more sophisticated transmissions in the near future as the market is quickly moving this way. 
Now currently the Toyota RAV4 falls around third or fourth place in the compact crossover SUV market. But Toyota has plans to move this vehicle up to the number one spot. One way of doing that is dropping the price. So this is one of the least expensive compact crossovers in the marketplace. Obviously the edgier styling looks better, the interior is more refined, and they feel it's a class above what many others are offering in the marketplace. One thing that we know, Canadians certainly love the Toyota brand. People go to them knowing that they can buy one of these and drive it and be happy and get great resale down the road. So 2013, the RAV4 has been refreshed. It's not radical, but it definitely is more dynamic to look at. Looking for an SUV? Surf on over 24 hours a day to drivingtelevision.com. Well, when, when you think about Toyota's lineup in the, uh, in the, in the SUV and cr crossover category, we've got a lot of products. So, in addition to RAV, we've got Venza, the Highlander, the FJ Cruiser, the Forerunner, and of course right up into the Sequoia. So if, if towing capacity or a third row seat or any number of other things are what you're looking for, we've got the right vehicle for you. Uh, we felt it was important, particularly for the type of urban mission that, uh, the, that the RAV4 often has, uh, to make sure that the, the vehicle is properly positioned in that, in that segment.